This is your ZNS News Update live at 3. Good afternoon, I'm Desmond Saunders. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Marvin Dames, says all uniformed branches under his domain are adequately equipped to enforce all protocols and procedures in wake of the COVID-19 crisis. This assurance coming after a number of officers were quarantined due to possible COVID-19 exposure. The most recent law enforcement branch impacted by COVID-19 is the Department of Corrections, with an off-duty prison officer confirmed to be among positive COVID-19 cases last week. I mean, our offices are on the, on the front line, and so one can expect that, I mean, given the period that we're in, uh, that, um, you know, some will probably have to be placed in, in quarantine. And so we continue to plan, we continue to meet, and continue to ensure that uh, all of our agencies are, are providing the level of service that is needed um, to protect and safeguard the people of, of, of our nation. The Price Control Commission sending a strong warning to lawless retailers and wholesalers involved in price gouging as the country faces the second wave of COVID-19. A team of price inspectors will be hitting the streets targeting retailers. President of the Price Control Commission, Danny Sumner. Our concern is that there is not sufficient meat on the shelves. So a lot of consumers are complaining the lack of meat. And this is not one particular store. Most of the stores that I've visited and that I've inspected, there's hardly any meat on the shelves. So I, I hope that the store owners are aware of that and produce more meat to the consumers so that consumers will not be complaining about the lack of meat. Now, meat is very, very uh, costly in some cases, but meat is something that behemoth need to complete their dinners or lunch. Someone says price inspectors will continue to do their job to ensure that customers pay a good price for their items in these difficult times. While the University of the Wahom is in the Ministry of Education, will begin the 2020-2021 academic year with a 100% virtual platform, which means there will be no face-to-face -face instruction until COVID-19 conditions improve. The Ministry of Education advising students planning to head off to school in the fall to consider continuing their education online or studying at a local studying at a local institution rather than traveling abroad in wake of the COVID-19 crisis. And finally for you this afternoon, poultry from local staple Abaco Big Bird is back in stock after an 11 month absence. The local producers managed to send out about 1000 packages of their signature all natural whole chicken to Allen's grocery stores earlier today. The major milestone coming after months of rebuilding barns and sourcing new stock. Abaco Big Bird General Manager, Lance Pender. So it's going out to um, the local stores here in Marsh Harbor, um, like Maxwell's. Um, so I don't know, we're excited. Everybody's excited. Every time we go there, every time I go to the store, or my brother goes, or my anybody sees anybody from my family, they, the, the butchers and stuff stop us and ask us when this big bird chicken to be available. <laughs> Everybody's getting tired of, the, of this imported stuff because it's just not the same. The quality and, and everything is just not the same. This has been your ZNS News Update Live at 3. Full details of these stories and much more in our national newscast at 7 this evening. I'm Desmond Saunders. Good afternoon.